Hello. Hello. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to Infinite, Infinite Jeff. Jeff. I'm Jeff. How you doing? This is Infinite Jeff, a project where I read a book called Infinite Jest to you. Internet people. I take one page, I'll read it in one day, and I put it on the video machine of the YouTubes, and then you can watch it however many times you like, or however few times you like. That's the beauty of the internet. We are on to page 81. No, oh, I'm sorry, page 80. Eight zero. Uh, Infinite Jest is a book by Dave Foster, blah, 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 whatever. You know. <clears throat> Page 80. DeLint and Mary Esther Toad were a, with a formality that's almost parodic. But, often of a warm evening, sometimes Mario and Coach Shit would find themselves out alone under the East, East Court's Canvas Pavilion, or the towering Copper Beach West of Com Ad or at one of the initial scarred redwood picnic tables off the path out behind the headmaster's house where Mario's mother and uncle live. Shit savoring a post-prandial pipe, Mario enjoying the smells of the calypsis... calypsis... hmm... Mm, it's also known as tick seed, so, yeah, calliopus. So, it's a flower. They're yellow. Kind of pretty. Alongside the grounds, Quincunx Paths. I gotta look that up, too. Quincunx. Or, Quincunx. Yeah. An arrangement of five objects with four at the corners of a square or rectangle, and the fifth is at its center, used for the five on dice or playing cards and in planting of trees. Oh, uh, okay. It's just the, um, so essentially, like, think of the five on a side of a die. That is a geometric pattern known as a quincunx. So, that's interesting. Okay. Mario enjoying the smell of the calypsis alongside the ground's quincunx paths, the Swedish pines and the briar's yeasty musk coming up from the hillside slopes. And he actually likes the sulfury odor of Shit's obscure Austrian blend. Shit talks, Mario listens, generally. Mario is basically a born listener. One of the positives to being visibly damaged is that people can sometimes forget you're there, even when they're interfacing with you. You almost get to eavesdrop. It's almost like they're like... If nobody's really in there, there's nothing to be shy about. That's why bullshit often tends to drop away around damaged listeners. Deep beliefs revealed. Diary-type private reveries indulged out loud. And, listening, the beaming and Brady kinetic boy gets to forge an interpersonal connection he knows only he can truly feel. Here. Shit has the sort of creepy wiriness of old men who still exercise vigorously. He has surprised blue eyes and a vivid white crew cut of the sort that looks virile and good on men who have lost a lot of hair anyway. And skin so clean sheet white, it almost glows, an evident immunity to the sun's UV. In pine-shaded twilight, he is almost glowingly white, as if cut from the stuff of moons. He has a way of focusing his whole self's concentration very narrowly, adjusting his legs spread for the very and curling one arm over the other and sort of drawing himself in around the pipe he attends to. Mario can sit motionless for really long periods. When shit exhales pipe smoke in different geometric shapes, they both seem to study intently. When shit exhales, he makes little sounds variant, variant in placivity between P and B. Like a P, P, P. I am realizing the whole myth of efficiency and no waste is what makes this continent of countries we are in, he exhales. You know myths? Is that like a story? Ugh, a made-up story. For some children. An efficiency of Euclid only. Flat. For flat children. Straight ahead. Plow ahead. Go. This is myth. 
There aren't any flat children, really. This myth of the competition and bestness we fight for you players here, this myth. They assume here always the efficient way is to plow in straight. Go! The story that the shortest way between two places is the straight line. Yes? Yes? Shit can use the stem of the pipe to point for emphasis. But what then when something in the way... Something is in the way when you go between places, no? Plow ahead. Go. Collide. Kabong! And we end the page on a kabong. Uh, that was page 80. Of Infinite Jeffs. Good night.